So what you see here is the program to run the awk. This is basically a mirror of the inside of our controller. It shows our set point and our current temperature. This line graph plots the line, uh, set point and temperature lines in there, all in different colors. As we can see, the GPU is just completely disconnected. So setting the GPU set point means nothing. Right now we're just running the CPU. The CPU that we're going to be testing with today is the 6700K. It is uh, the Intel i7. We have it set up on the Maximus Impact 8 ROG board. As you can see down inside there, we have it fairly warm in there right now. So it's not, uh, not sub-zero yet, but we'll drop it to sub-zero. And we'll watch as it drops to sub-zero, there will be no ice. So we have uh, all of our equipment in there is brand new with the exception of the video card, which we've used for about a year uh, for testing. The video card is an MSI. It's an old uh, Asus 270 or something like that, R7 270 or 290. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started with the temperature drop down. As you can see again, we've got the CPU set point and the uh, CPU actual temperature. So we have the set point sent, set at 40 degrees. Um, the simplicity of the awk is we can just set the temperature and the awk will just go there. You don't have to handle any liquid nitrogen. Uh, the tank that we're using right now is a little 10 liter tank. Um, we've got it uh, pressure regulated at uh, 20 PSI. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and set the set point to uh, minus 50. Uh, not 50. We're going to minus 50, not 20. And as you can see now, our line has dropped to 50 or our um, set point has dropped to 50. I'm going to plot it a little bit lower than that so that you can actually see the set point. We're going to go minus, let's go down to 75, 57, 58, 59, 60. We'll set it to minus 75. So there's our little green line there. That is the set point. This is the current temperature. And as you can see, it's just flying down there. We're dropping it down to minus 75. Probably take a minute or two to get there. Anyways, in the meantime, I am going to go ahead and start overclocking the 6700. This is actually something that's new for me. So I'm going to do a pause in the video and then we'll run benchmarks in just a little bit. So, again, we have the purge case. The purge case has access windows if you need to get in there and uh, get to your gear. With every uh, purge case that we sell, we also sell our little um, on-off switch so you can uh, reset your computer without opening the purge case. Or if you want to just use the normal buttons you can open the purge case and and get in there and do what you need each purge case has four windows so total accessibility just one thing that i do want to show real quick is our um uh our system is is set up to 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 be very very accurate at setting uh temperatures so you will see the temperature set at minus 75. It might oscillate one degree plus, one degree minus. Uh, but one thing that it doesn't do is just dump so much liquid nitrogen in that we go below 75. And if it happens to go below 75, inside the head, which you see there connected to the 6700, inside of that head there are heaters which will actually actuate and not allow it to over chill. And also, if we want to warm it up, all we have to do is set the set point. Those heaters will then actuate and it'll warm up. 